Scenes, my Afrocentric home decor and style channel. This is Lisa Marie. Mmm, the smells right now that I'm smelling in Ghana. Everybody's eating and it's lunchtime. And oh my God, I want some food. I'm going to eat some food today. There's this delicious, like, herbal, sweet, I can't explain the smell, but it smells so good. All the food in Ghana, oh my gosh. So at 12 noon in Ghana, let's talk about 12 noon in Ghana. 12 noon in Ghana, you will find people eating and taking with me and Kwame like to call them Ghana naps. So there's a lot of Ghana naps happening right now. Oh, Kwame, the food all smells good. Oh, wait, Kwame needs my signature. Then we'll go on this little adventure. I'm good? Okay, good. So, y'all, yeah, I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to, first of all, I am standing behind. Hey, brown sugar and spice. How are you? Good morning. My chewa hota sen, that's what you say in the tree language of Ghana, is good morning. How are you? Wo hota sen, my che. Actually, it's my ha in Ghana because it's lunchtime, just about, almost there. So first, I wanted to show you, which, what I'm standing in front of is these beautiful Ashanti shoes. And Ashanti are the a part of the Akan people. That's where the Adinkwa symbols come from. And the tree language they speak as well. And this is their actual stools. And I'm going to actually turn it around so you can see them better. So the stools have the different, the I mean, which is accept God, feel no one but God. has the unity symbols. It's actually quite beautiful quite beautiful and I'm very very excited about showing you them so this is actually Kwame's brother Kojo and this is the work that he does but I actually wanted to show you all the beautiful chairs I had a client actually purchase two of these chairs and these chairs are beautiful they call it the lazy chair because you'll see, I'm going to show you, when you sit back and you can, when you sit, you only can sit and your head's going to go back. So I take naps in this chair. This is a wonderful chair to, to, to um, experience or have a Ghana nap. And they're all beautiful, the elephants, giraffe. And these are the newest ones. The darker brown ones are the new ones. And they even have smaller ones as well. And these can hold most size people. So let me show you how they work. Because they are so cool. Like I said, I take my nap. So I'm sitting in the dark around. You'll see. And you see how. So you could only do this here. And I do here. I contemplate my next move. This is where I take a break. This is where I meditate. I, sometimes I just straight go to sleep. This is where I think. This is a beautiful place right here. So these chairs are very beautiful and they're very easy to put together. Like I said, I sent two chairs to a client. But yeah, they're very easy to put together. You know, once this thing said that she thought they were also called birthing chairs. And you can see how that could be as well. But I love it. So this is how I take my bath and nap. Beautiful, beautiful chair. So let me show you them again. And they are for sale. Kwame's brother Kojo sells them. And I'm going to show you how easy. they so easy to take apart and easy to put back together again. So basically, you just pull this out. From, you pull this out, the, the, the seat, from that part. And you can like fold them. You can put them away if you wanted to. Put it under other furniture. They're absolutely wonderful. Let me show you some other things that, since this is the shop that I hang out in, I should show you some things in the shop. So they do have the more traditional African masks. And these are absolutely gorgeous. And I'll try the light. I know the light is not the best, but. And then these are the statues and the, the figurines. That's also here. And this is the gang. They call it the Awari here. You might call it the Ma Makala. But they call it the Awari games. That's beautiful. And it has the G, I mean. Or the, this one I, could, I see has the other. And then was something like the stool. And then more G, I mean. So, uh, this is the mask that's actually here. This is made with, uh, I forget this material, but animals on it yeah i am at the place called the art center so you can come here for all your art and artifact needs whether it's furniture which you just saw right here it could be furniture i'm gonna actually I'm, I'm gonna sit on the lazy chair and be lazy i'm waiting for Kwame to finish with the post because we are going to eat i'm gonna go the morning to the big restaurant pats but uh let me see there's no little bun is in the way but yeah 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 ghana 
I, I don't know, I was on this travel site today, it's called Black Travel Movement, and, uh, and you know, people are still traveling, and they were talking about somebody had asked on the continent, which country should she start first, which was her first trip to, to the continent of Africa, and every, a lot of people said Ghana, and when they said Ghana, they said East Africa had a wonderful experience, now some may differ, I'm not trying to get into it, they had a great experience, but they said they had a more ancestral connection to West Africa, and specifically Ghana. And they told about how, a lot of, especially some of the Caribbean brothers and sisters, talked about how Ghana felt like home, like the islands, and other and Black Americans were saying that they felt like they they recognized the faces, like the people could be your family, and that's that's exactly the truth. There's two brothers that do the, that my batik that do my batiking, and they. We look like they could be Smitty <laughs> and, and Billy from from you know North Carolina. Like that's how much they look like our people. Like if they didn't talk, you was like, oh no, now y'all playing, y'all Black Americans, stop playing. So it is, uh, it is the sights, the sound, the music, and then I was thinking like listening to African music like traditional because then think about it, there's a lot of people made of different ethnic groups or, for lack of a better term, tribe. And so the, there's there's different music that goes with the different languages, different music. And so there are a lot of people here that's, and even in, with the Ghana, of course, and with Ghana, so you got people from the north, like the airway, and you got people from, you got the Akan, you got the Ga, which the languages are different, the artifacts are different, the mass are different, the music is different. And so to hear like traditional music from up north or different parts of the Volta region, it hit differently in Africa. When you hear African music in the States, it, it transports you, right? Because I used to Puto Mayo and all these other classic, uh, and other even more classic African music or CDs. And I used to dream, I used to play and be like, oh my God, wouldn't it be so cool to be at an African party or in the, on the continent? And it was hitting good then. But to hear it, I was walking through uh, the walking through the art center and I was uh, listening to different music because everybody like he's playing like hip life right now you might be hearing in the back but I was listening to this different music from different folks and I was like wow smiling to myself saying it hits different in Africa to hear African music it hits different on the continent it's just beautiful today's been a day filled with me of just giving tremendous thanks for being here in my tremendous life that was waiting for me, absolutely waiting for me. I have no doubt in my mind, hey Emma, that I am an African, that I am a West African, and that my ancestors came straight from the continent. I have no doubt. So I, I had some great fear. Oh, somebody's playing the xylophone even as we speak. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. I'm gonna show sure listen. the music, the impromptu of it all, the chickens, the goats and the sheep, uh, the cows, even the dogs is laid back here, the cats so laid back there, how they bark. Just love it, just love the randomness of Ghana. So I am in Ghana, West Africa. I live in Accra. February 9th will be my 11th month that I've been here. So what, y'all, almost a year in Ghana. That's the longest I've ever been outside of the United States. The longest prior to this was two months in the Dominican Republic. This right here, it can't be beat. So I'm going out today, and I'm gonna go to this um, big restaurant I've been in a long time, and I need a soup, y'all. I'm craving some cooked food, so I'm gonna have me some fufu and a ground nut soup. Hopefully they have that, or I'll have the contumery. They call it empeste, which is a contumery, with the fig, which Trinidad they call the fig, but here's like the green banana, and it has this melon seeds in it. So delicious. I'm looking forward to it. And it's vegan, it's an all vegan restaurant. So as soon as Kwame finished, we are out. But yes, if you see any of these stews, cheers, and you like them and you want them, let's, let's take a nap. <laughs> and you like it and you want it, feel free to get in touch with me if you are interested. And I just want to say, I don't come after something like this. I want to come back to y'all just impromptu, but also some edited videos as well. So we're going to get that, but 
This is the lazy cheer. And I love it. All right, y'all. I'm getting ready to go. I'm hungry. Let me sign these papers for Kwame George so I can go eat and enjoy. Love you, ladies. Let me see who's on for. Sorry. Brown Sugar, good morning. Melodic, good grand rising. Emma, hey. I am Carrie Ann. Hey, Carrie Ann, rising shut. Yes, and give God the glory, glory, huh? Give Ghana the glory, glory right now. Like, I don't know today. I am so feeling God. I was like, why am I feeling God? I mean, I feel it every day, like, especially my place, my apartment, but today I'm connected to the spirit of Ghana. It's a connection to the spirit of Ghana, and I can feel it. You know, it's funny because a year ago this time, I was I left for Ghana on March 4th. I think today's the 5th, so I left for Ghana on March 4th. That was my schedule, and we were I was supposed to arrive in Ghana on March 5th. So today would have been the day I would have arrived, but I was in the air. And at this point, I think I was in London, and I didn't actually get to Ghana till March 9th. Uh, long story, I didn't have my visa and stuff, but, and it's been good to me, 11 months, y'all, and counting, and it's almost 11, not the yet, and it's been incredibly good to me, so I'm thankful. So yeah, I'll show you a little more every day, try to get you out a little more, and uh, I hope you're having a beautiful one. So, the sense is Afrocentric Home Design, right, this is what my head wrap says, Af Afrocentric Home Design with the logo, I put it to the side, and these are my latest earrings, this is the Sessa Wusubam, which is transformation. Okay, I'm feeling good, y'all. The orange always gives me in the vibe. It's the vibe of the orange. All right, y'all, hopefully my, uh, I know that my um, hair wraps will be ready today, so we'll get those out. All right, love y'all, just wanted to share a little. If you're interested in anything, email me at the, T-H-E, blackberrybeauty at gmail.com. Peace and blessings.